guys welcome back so today I'm gonna be making a banana pineapple loaf it is so delicious and I want to share this with you so what you can do is you can pause the video and then collect all your ingredients and you can bake with me so all these ingredients are things that you'll probably have in your home a overripe ripened banana and what I did I chopped up some pineapple and put in it you can use crushed pineapple or you can just chop up your pineapple and add to it so this is two and a half cups of ripened banana and then I have half a cup of um, diced or crushed pineapple and two eggs I already add vanilla in here so you got to use the pure vanilla and here I have how much a cup one cup of um, margarine is it one cup yes one cup of margarine sorry half a cup of mar margarine half a cup half a cup okay so here I have half a cup of buttermilk if you don't have buttermilk or if you don't know what buttermilk is what you do is just add um, put half a cup of milk and just add maybe a tablespoon of vinegar then you have buttermilk just let it sit for five mil minutes and you have buttermilk and here we have two and a half cups of uh, flour and I added one tape one teaspoon of bacon baking soda to it and one teaspoon of salt mm -hmm. and here we have sugar we have one one and one fourth cup sugar and you need one teaspoon of vanilla make sure that you use the pure vanilla the taste of your cakes and cookies is gonna be you you'll taste the difference just um, by the pure vanilla and here you can use a stand mixer or a hand mixer I'm gonna use a hand mixer today so here we go let's go so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna cream the butter so here is the butter so we are gonna cream the butter and the sugar where's the sugar here's the sugar we're gonna cream the butter and the sugar together first off and here we go. Okay, so we're going to scrape this down. You're going to scrape the sides. This is just a technique you do in most bacon. Whenever you're making a cake or a loaf or cookies, you need to scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl because there's usually flour down there or batter is nice and fluffy beautiful so now we're gonna add we're gonna add the eggs okay so you add the eggs slowly while you're while the hand mixer is going add it slowly well mixed so then we're gonna add we're gonna add the bananas and when we add the bananas we're gonna add the vanilla so we need so we need one teaspoon of vanilla okay so there There we go. And I usually add just a little bit more because I'm extra like that. <laughs> and you know what? Banana, like banana bread or loaves, you can add um, chocolate chips to it. 
you can add nuts, you can add whatever, but this is not a plain um, banana loaf. I'm adding, this is banana pineapple, so you don't need to add anything else because it's already pi um, banana pineapple. So you do have a lot of flavor in it already. This is how we want it and now we're gonna add the flour and the buttermilk so what we do we add quarter of this flour and then we add quarter of the buttermilk and then you kind of keep on alternating until you end with flour add the rest of the flour and the rest of the buttermilk and can't forget right here I have um, grated um, lemon rind so and that's another big flavor in there so the flavors are banana pineapple little toots of lemon vanilla and that's all you need Finish with the hand mixer and our batter looks yummy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna try and get all the all the batter in the bottom of the bowl. And this is how you want it guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And there we go. And there's your banana pineapple loaf. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, see I got my loaf pan here, all buttered, all greased and lined with parchment paper. So this batter is going to go in here. I'm going to put it in the oven for say 50 to 60 minutes. And um, yeah. Okay, so let's get this in the pan. Could I use the bigger one? But it's okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, there we go. That's going to be a big loaf. Okay guys, now this beauty is going to go in the oven for as I say 50 to 60 minutes or if you have a cake tester, you just after I'd say 45 minutes just stick it in the middle and if it comes out clean it's done. Or if you don't have a cake tester just use a toothpick. Okay guys, so we're testing the loaf, see if it's um, ready, so we're using the cake tester. There we go. Clean as a whistle. Clean. Ready to come out. Okay, so here's our loaf. It's out of the oven. It's been in the oven for an hour. And we tested it with the cake tester here. So we're gonna let it cool for an hour. Or longer. It could it could you could let it cool for an hour, hour and a half. But it needs to be cool when you slice through it because if it's not cool then it will crumble it will possibly crumble it it, ha it you can get a good slice out of it if it's nice and cool 
So we will see you in an hour. So this is it guys, our banana pineapple loaf is ready to eat. It looks so delicious, I haven't tried it yet. So here it is. Is it good Jackson? Yes. He loves it. Yummy. So Jackson, what do you think? It's delicious? Mm. Yes. And then we're going to say, if you like this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Right, Jackson? So we'll see you next time.